Oh man, we are back with more Spotlight On and today's show has been awesome, but it's going to get even more awesome because we have our next guests with us. Please welcome Joe Lane and Travelin' Jack. Hello. Hi, thanks for being here today. Thank you for inviting us. Very excited to see you about this. Uh, we're gonna start this off by uh, running uh, Jack's campaign announcement here. So if we would like to let our viewers know that, let's run that clip. Greetings my fellow New Mexicans. I, Travelin' Jack, I'm here today to make an important announcement. This November, we are going to be engaged in one of the most heated gubernatorial campaigns ever. In fact, some might say it will be a dog-eat-dog -dog campaign. I, Travelin' Jack, was pondering this and all my pet projects, and I thought to myself, doggone it, I should be included in this dog race, so to speak. <laughs> After all, I have my own campaign platforms that touch every New Mexican, just like the fine two ladies running for governor. That's great. I like that. He's very informative. I like <laughs> it. I'm already on your. T I'm already on your side. Great. For the most part. Well, well, I got. I got to see the issues. <laughs> he got 798 write-in votes on his petition for dog oh, governor, there you go. and that was when he was the 2010 independent dogernatorial candidate for dog governor. That's. I like it. I like it. So, what was what was sort of the uh, the travels I want to say for Jack's. Uh, road to being a pet in office? Well, we decided that, you know, when we found out that there were two women vying for governor, and we said, this is going to be a real dog-eat-dog -dog campaign. Of course. <laughs> and so that is what brought about the idea of creating a canine campaign for the animals, and it was actually a fundraiser for animal welfare. So we went on the canine campaign trail. We went to 12 different cities around the state. We launched his campaign at the Balloon Fiesta. And in four weeks, four weekends and 12 events, we raised $6,000 for animal welfare for 12 different organizations. And many pu puppies and kitties were adopted to shelters. Very good. That's so amazing. And then he's, since that time, he's written his first book. And it's an award-winning award -winning book that we call his dogography. <laughs> it's a children's That's coloring cool. story book. Oh. And the money from that go to support animal welfare as well. So since 2010, when he started the campaign, he's raised over $12,000 for animal welfare. Very nice, That's Jack. That's so incredible. So I know when Jack ran, uh, he had an opponent, and that was Bad Kitty. Yeah, there was a Bad Kitty. Now, that one actually took place just this last mm -hmm. year. And Bad Kitty, you know, we said there is no way that any cat is going to take over New Mexico turf. <laughs> so he was up for that one. And of course, you know, hometown hero, he won. So. That was another campaign. That was another fundraising effort for animal welfare. That's amazing. Uh, so a little bit of a serious question since he is, you know, in office and such. Uh, voter turnout is notoriously low in New Mexico. So what do you think were some of the things that he did so well to have such a great turnout? Well, look at that his... face. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I can't stop. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. You know, we just, uh, we aligned with the animal welfare events and they did uh, all sorts of different types of events from um, bark in the park events to fundraiser luncheons to golf tournaments and we've just done all sorts of different things to help raise money for animal welfare and it's always been fun we always make sure that it's a good time and Jack is very uh, compatible going along with whatever we do and he loves crowds we do many many events and he is known for his slurpy kisses <laughs> so if it's not unusual for anybody that gets near him to get a big slurpy kiss and actually, that was one of our fun fundraisers. We did a kissing booth, Jack Smack's kissing booth, Valentine's weekend, and at Expo New Mexico, and we raised about four hundred dollars for animal welfare. If somebody sat down next to Jack and he happened to kiss them, they had to make a donation. Oh, that's so great. he, of course, you know, uh, of complied. <laughs> <laughs> so he is known for his kisses, aren't you, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> now, all right, for some viewers out there that might be wondering a lot, of, I noticed his fairly thick accent of Jack yes. in that clip. Yes. And uh, you do know you have to be an American citizen to run for president, for dog president. And uh, <laughs> w would you mind showing us, uh, I, I believe it, but uh, would you mind showing us his birth certificate? His birth certificate, he actually, we don't have it with us right well, now, but you'll just have to believe us. I'll believe he's, it. he's a That's trustworthy fine. politician. <laughs> He is an old English bulldog. That's why he has the accent. Yeah. But he, you know, that's his background. He was born and raised in 
America. Mexico, of course. Yes. That's what it's all about. So can you tell us a little bit about his hat? Because I really like his hat a lot. Well, Jack actually does some modeling in addition to his governing. And uh, so he, he does some work with PetSmart. And they will send us their product lines. And then they take we take photos. And then they use them in various um, marketing efforts. And this is the Tommy Bahamas summer beachwear line. That's and that just actually came out this summer. So he's sort of sporting the beachwear line this year. And uh, I thought it looked pretty suave and debonair for an old English bulldog. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. But they have t-shirts. They've got Hawaiian shirts for dogs. They've got the little frou-frou dresses and everything. So we have a lot of fun with, with dressing him. He's considered sort of New Mexico's uh, stylish canine as well. So he, he sports different looks at different events. And uh, he's being dog governor today, so he's wearing his his governor tie today. That's amazing. Thank you so much for, for being here today, Jill. And thank you so much, Jack, for being here. Say thank Stay you, with Jack. us, and we'll be right back with a special presentation. Did you do good, Jack? Yeah, he did. A little time. A little exercise. A little laugh. <laughs> A little help. He might be in danger of not making it to high school this year if he flunks math. And we just, we just can't have that. A little bit of your support can make a big difference for matches like these. Just ask his high school freshman. Start something today at bigbrothersbigsisters.org slash start something. 